Hi guys, welcome back to our discussion in strategies and approaches of TQM and we shall start with quality circles. But before that, I'd like you to please bring out your notes so you could jot down some important informations that are not included in your PowerPoint presentation. And I hope that you will have a good internet connection all throughout our discussion so we could have a smooth flow of interaction. Okay, so I will also be asking questions from time to time. So please participate by typing your answers on the comment box. So are you ready guys? Let us start. Quality circles are associated with Japanese management and manufacturing techniques. The introduction of quality circles in Japan in the post-war era was inspired by William Edwards Deming, a statistician of the U.S. government. It is not new to you guys that Deming believe that statistics should be a common language in any organization. And so he planned to go to Japan to be able to spread his teachings. And the newly formed Union of Japanese Scientists and Engineers was familiar with Deming's work. And they heard that he would be coming to Japan to advise the government. Okay? And then nagkaroon ng interaction between Deming and the Union. And then, it was Kaoru Ishikawa. He was a management thinker and a professor at the University of Tokyo. He first developed quality circles in the 1960s. Okay, take note, Kaoru Ishikawa. The Union of Japanese Scientists and Engineers were the ones who paid for the research of Kauru that put the theories on quality circles, right? And during its first year, guys, the QC was uh, spread to more than 35 companies in Japan. Okay? That's why uh, makita yung nga, Japan taught us so much about quality. Speaking of production, speaking of quality products and services, and even their way of life, talaga nga, they are really practicing quality in all the things that they do, thanks to the lectures of Deming and Joran. Right? So I would like to give you some examples of quality. Number one, guys, Kaizen. So it's a Japanese word which means continuous improvement. No? Example, nukuma gumatang tibado, the Japanese, tapos adati panait, nga haan nga nadait, they will consider it as damage. Handa kayat nga usarin because it is damage. Han yung nga nadait, han nga na perfect. So handa nga kayat. Ngayon, nuko masabali nga nationality, ti gumatang ti bado, this is uh, the truth, nuko maadati nada, uh, nuko maadati panait, nga han nga, or nuko maadati I'm sorry, no kung maadati party bado dang han nga nadait, tapos agbibitin di siya panait, kung nakit di, we will consider it as uh, a, a cloth that needs to be improved through repair. Okay, so mapantay yung ipa-repair. Or the worst, we won't even notice the panait nga agbibitin, usa rin tayo lata. Alright, that's one uh, example. Another one guys, kata. Kata means form and order of things. Uh, in houses, uh, in Japan, makita yo ji interior na kit, they want all things to be organized and in proper and in proper place. Okay, makita yo kit minimalist la ang ti design na, uh, very uh, industrial ti um, ti structure na. Awan unay ti kalat nga makitam kas lalang naka-iso amin nga balbalay ijay Japan. And also, uh, it's very clean in Japan and they are, the people are very disciplined. Amin pay kanu nga floors daket kas lalang pagsarmingan kasi nakadaldalos, no? Nakakinkintab kas lalang naka uh, skin care dayjay floor da at a glass a uh, glass skin kumbaga no kuma kudil ket glass skin dijay Florida tikina uh, dalus na 
And also, we have Toyota, which is the leading car manufacturer. So, there are many uh, proof that uh, Japan is really obsessed with quality. And it is their way of life. Alright? Next, QC is a small voluntary group of employees and their supervisors comprising a team from the same department that meets regularly to solve problems relating to their job scope or workplace. So they work on the basis of a continuous and ongoing process in an organization. In the Philippines, QC are the people in a particular department. It can also be referred to as committees or task force and they meet regularly, hindi para magchismisan about the latest news, but to give updates on new developments and solve problems. No? QC plays a very important role, uh, a pivotal role in any organization because they see to it and they are always on the lookout of problems that needs to be solved. They are always seeking for improvements. May it be operations, um, accounting, marketing, and in all areas of the organization. Next, so these are the objectives of quality circles. Number one, change in attitude. So, sabi ng mga Japanese, kailangan meron tayong Iisang mindset lang. At ito ay ang growth mindset. no Ang iiwasan natin dapat is yung fixed mindset. Okay? From fixed mindset, kailangan magiging growth mindset. Example, if you say, I don't care, you should turn it to I do care. Okay? From I give up, which is a fixed mindset, you should turn it to, I would like to learn more. I would like to expand my knowledge. Okay? This is just a test. I am a work in progress. Ganon ang growth mindset. Right? It is simply turning negative mindset into a positive mindset, which creates opportunity. Number two, guys, is self-development. It's bringing out hidden potential of people through constant trainings. Or kahit walang trainings, through decision makings. No? Uh, through decision making, you will assure that uh, the opinions of your uh, subordinates are valid and are respected. Alright? Number three, development of team spirit. You could say, I couldn't do it. No, hindi ko yun magagawa. But with my team, we were able to do it. We did it. Alright? Number four, improve organizational structure. This is the total in involvement of people at all levels. You can now see, guys, that the aim of Quality Circle is building people, ano pa, developing them, and arousing genuine interest and dedication to their work to improve quality and productivity. So take note, guys, uh, when we say circle, uh, these are the employees working together in, in, in an operation who meet at intervals to discuss problems of quality. Okay, circle means employees, uh, people in a particular department. Next, guys, is we have the three major at, uh, attributes to quality circles. Number one, it is a form of participation management. And it involves improving product quality through participations from whom? No? From the members. Sino pa? Leaders and facilitators. Okay, so QC is uh, made up of three uh, important roles, the members, the leaders, and the facilitators. Number two, it is a human resource development technique. Why? Because it involves facilitation of people and utilizing them to discover more of their abilities and to solve problems. Number three, it is a problem-solving technique. Yes, and it involves decision-making. 
No? So what is the heart of an organization? What's the heart and soul of an organization? It's decision making. Okay? From the rank and file employees up until the top management, everybody decides. No? Kahit wala ka sa organization, nasa bahay ka lang, ano, anong atat ka next? That's decision making. Anong atat course na alaik? Anong itong atat trabaho? Will I go to abroad or not? No? That's uh, a form of decision making. So every new product launched or every new service offered, everything it is a result of hundreds of decisions, right? So, when people are involved in decision-making, they will take more interest and pride in their work if they have a share, okay? And decision-making, guys, has a huge impact. It can propel the organization forward or it can destroy the organization's value. So, in making decisions, you should also weigh things. Uh, do not just decide impulsively, weigh things, look out for options, and ask for suggestions. For every choice involves making the right decision, right? So that's it for our quality circle. Before we move on to team approach, I would like you to comment one international quality circle program. I repeat, you researched uh, one international quality circle program and type it in the comment box. Alauray nagan laing the quality circle program. Okay. I hope that the Japanese left something about quality in your heart. Okay, so please type your answers, guys. I will be checking it. 